Good afternoon, this is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. The Iowa Department of Public Safety says the 17-year-old student responsible for the Perry High School shooting acted alone and with suicidal intentions. Perry High School student Dylan Butler fatally shot 6th grade student Amir Julief and injured seven others on January 4th this year. That included Principal Dan Marburger, who later died of his injuries. Iowa DPS Commissioner Stephen Bayens on Friday said evidence shows Butler acted alone and did not target anyone specifically. We recovered write-ins from the shooter who indicated just that. He desired to be famous. He desired to commit suicide. He desired to take others with him. Bayens said some people had knowledge of Butler's fascination with violence and school shootings, but authorities did not find any evidence anyone knew he was planning the January attack. Butler died at the scene of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. In other news, farmers in the tri-state area continue to work diligently at harvesting their crops well into October. Through the second full week of October, warm and also dry conditions meant farmers could carry out harvesting activities pretty much any day they desired, according to Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Mike Nag. Almost half the corn crop has been harvested, which put farmers about six days ahead of the usual average timing over the last five years. Well over four-fifths of the soybean crop was out of Iowa fields, which is 10 days ahead of average. Nag said that while the dry weather has allowed the harvest to rapidly progress, it's also causing some concerns. Statewide, the second reporting period in October was the driest week of the year in Iowa, and the entire month has only seen 10% of the amount of precipitation for a normal October. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.